Earlier, I watched a documentary called Seattle is Dying. And oh my goodness, was it an eye opener. I knew there was a homeless problem. I knew there has been a drug problem as far as heroin and meth, but I didn't know it was that widespread. And it opened my eyes to the fact that a lot of these homeless encampments that are showing up everywhere, that are showing just up in front of businesses, that are showing up in tourist areas, it, it opened my eyes to the fact that most of the people in these in that are in these homeless encampments like at least 99% have serious drug problems, have serious meth and heroin addiction problems. I used to look at it as, well, uh, Seattle is too expensive. That's the reason why that's happening. It's, it's like, no, it's the fact that police aren't arresting people for having even three grams of heroin, which I guess is enough for 20 doses. And when people are arrested, for committing a number of types of crimes, they're let out before they even can spend any reasonable time in jail. There's not a chance for them to get clean, and they just go back out on the street and commit more crimes. Businesses, small businesses especially, are leaving Seattle and going to places like Bellevue, where this isn't a problem. And a lot of this stuff is because the city council is essentially laughing off all the problems. They're like, well, we're throwing all this money at it and, you know, nothing's really happening. If you have a problem, uh, call 911. And then uh, when people say, that's not working, uh, the council people laugh at them. But yeah, when we're giving people the idea that they can commit crimes and not be convicted, they can come there to do their drugs and stay in a tent and nothing's going to get done about it. Yeah, that's what's causing this major problem in Seattle. It's made its way into Tacoma a bit as well, but no, nowhere near on the level that, that it is in Seattle. I used to be so naive about, about the homeless encampments, thinking that, oh, it's, it's mainly people that, that are just down on their luck. They, they lost their job. They, and it's just like, no, uh, the majority of them, the, the overwhelming majority of them are there because of drug addiction. Now, there are other parts in the U.S. that they've adopted some programs to, uh, you know, where they can get methadone and, and other types of uh, medications to help them get off of those drugs. And it has a pretty good uh, rate of, what do you call it, um, where people are able to actually make something of their lives. And maybe that sort of thing should be implemented. When a city isn't even arresting people anymore for these things, there, when there's not even a chance that there's going to be any sort of intervention, and yes, be, being arrested and thrown in jail is a form of intervention, you know, and, and if they are in, in jail, you know, they should be given options to, hey, uh, we can we can help you with these things. But that's not even happening. Man, there's fo there's footage of this one guy who's who's like, oh, I'm on a list of uh, of people of people who are able to get away with all these crimes. Oh, that's great. And he's he's harassed the police. He's he. Oh, you should see the footage. I mean, the guy is ecstatic that he's able to get away with these things, that he's able to be a criminal and nothing gets done about it. He's ecstatic. Yeah, when, when people think that, oh, Seattle's a place you can go to commit crimes and you're not going to get prosecuted, what's that supposed to do to the city? I guess this is what you get when you coddle bad behavior. I mean, it's reminding me of the idiocy of, uh, where is it, Cook County? Doesn't that cover Chicago, if I'm not mistaken? of them banning gang member lists. Oh, we have to ban that because that's racist to have gang lists. Really? I, I mean, just there, there's some crazy shit, crazy ideas going around, and we can see how they're affecting cities. It's destroying them. It's so stupid. But this has certainly changed my tune on the idea of uh, legalizing all drugs. That, that was my stance for a long time. Let's just legalize all drugs. I don't think I have that stance anymore. It's nice that weed is legal. People aren't overdosing on, on weed. Very few people are completely ruining their lives on weed. Even though with how strong weed has gotten, especially with things like dabbing, 
people can be people can ruin their lives but there's still at least there's not the overdose problem but yeah as far as the other drugs the, the hard drugs i don't take the stance that i used to this whole thing is just incredibly sad i'll leave a link to the video in the description bar